Right now at 11, we could be moments away from liftoff, SpaceX's most powerful rocket in operation. The Falcon Heavy rocket is set to blast off from Kennedy Space Center at 11.04 tonight. Now, this is SpaceX's third attempt at getting this rocket off the ground. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Matt and Lisa are off tonight. The launch comes almost 24 hours after SpaceX launched one of its smaller rockets, a Falcon 9, on a Starlink mission. These photos show the Falcon 9 launch from a vantage point not far from where the Falcon Heavy is standing at Kennedy Space Center tonight. News 6's James Barbero wanted to get a closer look in anticipation of tonight's launch. He is live at SpaceX launch and landing control in Cape Canaveral tonight. James? Hey, Ginger. So just outside the gates of Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, for my money, I think this is the best place anybody can watch the landings, which is really the highlight of a Falcon Heavy launch. The last Falcon Heavy launch, the sixth in its history, that was back on April 30th. I stood in this same spot. The launch was certainly thrilling in its own right, but SpaceX on that night did not attempt to land the twin side boosters. They are doing that tonight. So there's a crowd out here. There are bleacher seats. People are getting very excited. We are closing in on T-minus two minutes to the seventh launch of Falcon Heavy. And we've been reporting for the past three nights that it's carrying a record in its own right, a record-breaking satellite, the heaviest commercial communication satellite ever. It weighs nine tons, nearly 20,000 pounds. And Falcon Heavy is just the right rocket to carry it into orbit. And if this launch had happened last night, SpaceX, it is still a, quite the turnaround. They're doing two rockets in just less than 24 hours. It would have been, had Falcon Heavy launched last night, around the same time a Falcon 9 launch with Starlink, it could have been the fastest time between two launches in the history of the Cape. So SpaceX just keeps you on your toes out here. Anything can happen. Anything can change at any moment. As we approach T-minus one minute and 30 seconds under that now, the big key here will be around the T-minus one, T-minus 45 second mark. That's where the launch director gives the go for launch. It was around this time, Wednesday night, Ginger, when SpaceX called out that abort. They did not specify why they aborted the launch Wednesday night, but the launch was in fact scrubbed, bringing us here to tonight. So very exciting now, T-minus one minute until the seventh launch of Falcon Heavy. Five years now since it's made in flight. It's the third Falcon Heavy launch this year, the fourth in the last eight months. And there's the call we've been waiting for. SpaceX applauding Ginger, the crew's applauding. Falcon Heavy is in startup mode. It looks like we're a go for launch. It always comes down to the final, final seconds though. Of course, the computer can always trigger an automatic abort. But we're looking good, Ginger, as we send it back to you. Can't wait to watch. Yeah, I can't wait to watch and hope you get to hear those twin sonic booms. Let's listen in to the countdown for this historic launch tonight. We are just seconds away now. 11.04 is the launch time, and SpaceX has not stopped that countdown clock. They are still counting down. Hey, my 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. We're just over 30 seconds into flight under the power of over 5 million pounds of thrust and Falcon Heavy is on its way to space. Right now we're throttling down in preparation for max Q, which is of course the moment of power and telemetry nominal. Call outs there that power and telemetry are both looking good for Falcon Heavy. Again, what we're preparing for next is max Q, which is the peak mechanical stress on the rocket. So that is a critical critical flight milestone for us today. And with that supersonic call out, we know that Falcon Heavy is moving faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. There we've passed through Max Q. So now the engines are throttling up. Everything's looking good with the stage one trajectory, which is great news. 
Our side boosters are throttled all the way up right now, but the center core is operating a reduced power. We'll gradually begin reducing thrust from the side boosters to decrease forces on the vehicle structure as we approach our next major flight event, BECO. BECO, which stands for Booster Engine Cutoff, is expected at about two and a half minutes into flight. That's where we'll shut down the engines on the side boosters. And then following BECO, the side boosters will separate away from the center core and begin their trip back to Earth. The center core engines will then ramp up to full power and burn for approximately another minute, while the side boosters execute their boost back burns simultaneously. Incredible views of Falcon Heavy right now. And as a reminder, although we are not attempting to recover our center core due to performance today, we will be attempting to land those two side boosters on landing zones one and two, so we'll have great views for you on the right-hand side of your screen. Side booster separation confirmed. Side core separation. There, we've had confirmation of side core separation there. And shortly, those side boosters are going to begin the first of three burns prior booster to landing back, start up. back on land. There's the call out that we've had boost back begin. We're going to have several things happen in quick succession here. So some of the things we're looking for are Miko on our main engine. And then those two entry and landing burns of the side boosters. On your screen right now, we have views, views of both of those side boosters on their way back to Earth. There we go over on the side right there. Following main engine cutoff of the center core, we are looking for stage separation of the center core and the second stage, and then SES-1, or second engine start one, for the MVAC engine on board stage two. Shortly after that, we will also have fairing separation. So let's keep an eye on all, fairing, all of those events happening back to back here in just a couple seconds. Booster boost back shut down. There's confirmation that the boost back burn on both side Thank boosters you. has Stage completed. Separation confirmed. Stage one, and MTS there you have it, SpaceX Falcon Heavy. You just heard Miko main engine cut off. All systems were a go for tonight, and this, by all accounts, a flawless launch. It is taking one of the heaviest communication satellites ever deployed into space, the Jupiter 3. It's to expand the broadband capabilities here on Earth. So SpaceX very happy about this launch tonight. And uh, the next thing we should hear when those side boosters land will be twin sonic booms more than likely. So be prepared if you're in that area to hear that. And of course, 